Greetings and welcome back. In the previous lecture, we created a model. We uh, learned how to update our application, go in and saw uh, the model. You know, actually went in and took a look at the model we created. Um, I did point out that in addition to the fields that we explicitly created, cache and day and uh, name, that there's a lot of other fields that are provided by the framework as well. And we also had to add some access rights to our model to make sure that we could get at it. So now we need a way to actually view the model, you know, a way to click and see it and, and interact with it. Well, you know, what the first thing that we really need uh, to do that, obviously, is a menu uh, of some kind. So let's, let's go ahead and see how we could create menus. Now this is another case where we could go in here under technical and we could come in here um, to menu items and we could go in here and create menus um, interactively using um, you know the Odoo development or you know uh, developer mode but we don't want to do that we want to do this using uh, you know the correct way as an app Odoo application developer so I'm gonna click here and come up to PyCharm and inside of our uh, project here the templates already providing us with a example for our menus I just have to come down here to views and under views there's a views.xml so Python files are how you create your models and you work uh, with processes and functions and so forth um, views and actions are created in uh, XML and all of the XML in this template is pretty much commented out. Now, I'm also going to assume that you really don't know XML or you don't know a lot of XML. And I'm also not going to spend a lot of time teaching it either. Um, it's kind of a follow by example here in that uh, even if you know minimal XML, um, you should be able to follow along. And I'm going to try to explain the best I can uh, you know, quickly so we can move fast. Uh, what I'm doing so that you even if you're a beginner are going to be able to build this game out so in this XML file we have an Odoo tag at the top and uh, right under it a data tag and you'll notice these are the way you comment in um, XML you have like a a less than sign an exclamation point and two dashes it's just the way it is so anything once this starts till you get an ending tag like this two dashes and a, uh, you know, a greater than sign is all, is all going to be commented, commented out. So we're going to scroll down and find the menus down here. So you can see there it says top menu item. So let's uncomment this top menu item. And I'm going to do that by taking the comment uh, start out here and the comment out end out here. So that removes the comment from around this XML tag. And this is basically just going to be the name of our menu. So I'm going to call this Odoo Tycoon Game Manager. And I'll just call it Odoo Tycoon. So that's going to be our top level menu that we're going to click on. And that's all we have to do. The ID just simply needs to always start with Odoo Tycoon. Dot. So whatever your application name is, dot, that needs to be the ID for your menu. And then you just need to name it something. Menu root is perfectly fine, and we'll just stick with that. So now that we have a, a top menu, um, we, we're going to need to have a submenu under that. So I'm going to comment out this by taking the front comment away and then the in comment away from that. Now we have two submenus. Now we really don't need two submenus for our game at this point. So I'm going to get rid of one of these. I'm just going to get rid of it. And I'm just going to call this one, let's see, game. So this will create a little submenu for our game. And um, you'll notice that we have an ID here, and it's just menu1 is what it's named. And I can just leave that for now. It, does, it doesn't really bother me that it's named that. And um, you can see now, though, in, unlike this menu item that's a top-level one, top-level menu item, this one has a parent and you'll notice that its parent matches the ID here and this is key to understanding menus the parent that you supply here is always going to match 
another menu item. So this is how it knows that the game submenu is a child of the main menu. So now let's come down to actions. And this will be the actual menu item that you're going to click on. So I'm going to undo the first one here. And we only need one action. I'm going to, I'm going to delete this um, comment and take all that out as well. So here's our actual action. And I can come here and change this to say game manager. So this is actually where it's going to pull up our game manager. And um, you'll notice that we have another ID, ID here. And this one says menu one underscore list. I'm actually going to change that to game manager just so you can see that we can change this to whatever we want. And notice here that the parent of this menu matches this menu item. So this menu item's ID, I should say. So this is going to match to this, and this is going to match to this. So that's all the menus we need. We've just uncommented uh, what the template provided us, and we've made a small few changes uh, to them. So with this done, if I saved it and ran it, we wouldn't see anything. Odoo doesn't show menus. They don't have specific actions already defined for them. So this created the menus, and you can see our action here for our final one. This is the only one that has an action, is Odoo Tycoon dot action underscore window. So when you click the game manager, this is the action that's going to fire off. And fortunately, because of the template, They've provided that for us all already. So I can scroll up, and you'll notice that this right here, ID Odoo Tycoon dot action underscore window, that this matches the menu here, action. There it is. So let's uncomment this action. I'm, I'm getting ready to end comment now, and this is the beginning comment surrounding it. and. You know, nicely it shows us in PyCharm uh, with the with the color uh, syntax here that this is active now. Now we don't have to worry. This is always going to stay the same. Model .ir .actions .act .window. Don't worry about what that means. Just leave it. This ID needs to match the menu that we define, which it does. And then here's our name. And so this is actually the name of the window that's going to come up. And so we're going to just call this Odoo. Tycoon Game Manager. And then you'll notice it has this field name here defined res underscore model and it has an Odoo Tycoon dot Odoo Tycoon. Well you'll remember when we first got our model in the template that's what it was. We changed it to Odoo Tycoon dot Game Manager. And we can come here to models and see Odoo Tycoon dot Game Manager. So this I can like literally copy it, do a copy and paste it into here. You know, and really it's just changing this to say game manager. But if we wanted to make absolutely sure they matched exactly, we can do that. And that's all we have to do. We're done. Uh, we've told Odoo that we want to create the menus. We've told it uh, w what action we want, and that's uh, to operate on this Odoo Tycoon dot game manager. And we've also told it just from the template it's provided already that we want a tree view, which is you know a list. And we uh, want a form view, and and we'll see that when it when it runs. So let's go ahead and uh, save this, and let's come down here to our restart, and it restarts everything. No errors yet. Um, we just need to come here now, and I want to shift refresh um, the browser because anytime you change anything with menus, our views. Um, you don't just want to refresh or go and, and navigate. You want to hold down the shift key and refresh. And if we come here now to our apps list, notice we have a Odoo Tycoon top level menu. This exactly corresponds to this right here because there's no parent. That's why it's there. Then when I choose that, you'll see that automatically takes us to O2 Tycoon Game Manager. It's right there because it's the only action we have, so it's default in there. If I come up under, if I see this menu here, this one that says Game, this exactly corresponds to this. So if I change this to say something else, 
then you would see that change here. And if I click on this menu where we see Game Manager listed here, this directly corresponds to this item. And then because this has the action on it that then ties to right here, you're set. This is what then fires off and gives us this form. So here we can say create and we'll just call this game number one and we can have some cash and we can have the current day as one and save it and that's that's it that's all we've built it's a starting point of course we're less than 30 minutes in you know we have to get started somewhere but now we have a little game that uh, you know starting point where we have money we can keep track of and as we make it this will go up as we spend it it'll go down and we'll be able to keep track of our day now you'll notice though that when we created this uh, you know we're having to always um, you know uh, provide these now wouldn't it be nice if there was like a like a default ha huh? values that you could have it come up here and say like new game and then have it the current day start out as one and the cash start out at, at say five thousand dollars if we wanted well we can do that so let's just before we end this lecture see one more little thing we can do to our models we come up here to models and uh, under our field name uh, here for name that we've defined we can just provide a comma and then a quote here and say our um, our game name is going to be uh, new game and here for and actually it needs to say default equals here default equals new game and then we have um, default equals one no quotes for integers and here we can say default equals 5000 and again no quotes for floats the difference with floats is we could have decimals if we wanted them just like that so let's save and restart and if my syntax is right here let's uh, create a new game and you'll notice now when we create a new one it fills in the defaults for us so any new game we make um, and we can delete them all and we create a new one it's gonna fill in the defaults for us so we're good to go there so with that I'm gonna end this lecture in the next lecture we're gonna take these views and we're going to customize them and see how we can uh, you know make our own rather than just a, a, you know relying on the default one that Odoo provide uh, when it kicked off the action so look forward to seeing you in the next lecture